Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. The next thing I need to do is to either head to Crystal Dream... Actually, it's either or. Either, either one is head to Crystal Dream Lake. So, I instead like to take these opportunities where there's like a very clear path forward to now attempt to clear out some of these additional things we've found. We're probably about to open up the the space of this game by quite a bit like it will no longer be the napkin there will be a full actual map and so i would rather explore this a little bit more completely maybe level up find some new items some extra stats perks what have you and then take that all forward try and put a bow on some things um <laughs> i kind of forget what a lot of these were pointing towards what they were meant to what the takeaway was meant to be uh, the boardwalk, I think, was revealed a pretty long time ago. Maybe I'll head to, like, Tentacle House and just fight off some of those monsters. I'm probably a little bit, like, prepared for that, finally. A well-dressed man flags you down. Excuse me there, my good chap. Might you have a match on your person? <laughs> Is this the guy who... Yeah, I think it's the same guy, and he gave me a match last time. So now I have a match to give back? Is that the only purpose of the match, is to eventually return it? Yes, but I might need it. No, lie. I'm sorry. No, two lies. <laughs> You're not actually sorry at all. No, but also yes. I have to. I have to pick that one to see what weird thing that brings up. Uh, well, thank you all the same. Toodaloo. Toodle off. Wow. Uh, maybe I should have just given it to him. Now, if I see him again, I will just give it to him. Ocean City Boardwalk. Well, this is lovely. What fun it seems like we have out here. You're not sure if the lamppost is holding up the hobo or vice versa. I mean, you don't have to assume just because their hat's a little scuffed. They don't look that rough. Well, hey there. Pleased to meet you, Grammy. I'm Dusty. Well, you know, you could be a dusty regular person. You don't have to be a dusty hobo. I can see that. What's up, Dusty? I don't need mean need to be mean out loud. You can be mean off to the side in the commentary. Oh, nothing much, just hanging around. I was gonna run a three-card Monty down here on the boardwalk, but that didn't pan out. Why not? Well, there's a fella already running a game down the way, and I prefer not to step on his toes. Just a matter of professional courtesy, you see? Yeah, I see. And also because carnies get real scary about that kind of thing. And I ain't looking to be murdered anytime soon. Any way I can help? Well, that's real kind of ya. I was thinking of looking for a different corner. Can you spare a nickel for a cup of joe to get my feet moving? If I say no, they're just going to stay here. There's, I don't see any like progression there. Five meat? Absolutely you can have that to get on your merry way. Thanks, pal. You're a real good egg. Yeah, thanks. I'm special. <laughs> she gives you a jaunty wave and wanders off. All righty then. I assume it was said as though it were Jim Carrey, even if it was a weak ass impression. A fortune teller's tent. Ooh, yeah, tell me. Tell me my future. You enter the dimly lit tent to see a teenage girl dressed as an old woman, sitting at a velvet draped table. She's the real deal then. She clearly discovered her powers young and had to disguise herself. She points to a sign on the wall that says tarot readings 50 meat. You're not even going to talk to me. You got to pay for that. That just general bit of pleasantry. Not just now. Complain about the price. There's no like moxie or anything tied to that. So I'll just do it. 50 meat is a little steep, isn't it? I could buy 7 and 63 64 gallons of gas for that much. <laughs> Going all the way back to like call back to like one of the opening parts of the game there. She stares at you and points at the sign again. Well, what else am I going to spend meat on? Might as well throw it in the lake. The first card tells us about where you've been. Well, do you care to tell me where I've been? She pulls one from the bottom of the deck. Ooh, this one is the Cinco of Cherries. Five cherries? What does it mean? She flips through a little book. This implies a tragedy in your early childhood. Something to do with cows? Maybe back when the cows came home? Not ringing any bells. The second card is about where you are in the present. Oh, okay, that was just one card drawn. For a second I thought she drew one, then the cherries. She sighs and draws a card. The tray of apples. But tray, not like A-Y. Ominous. Okay, what does it mean? This one means that you're having your fortune told. 
That's incredible. How do the cards know that? The last card reveals your future. She sighs and draws a card. It's the Ace of Masks. Are you sure? She glares at you. In the future, you will perform miscellaneous tasks for various individuals. I'll look forward to it. Consider what just happened. Really contemplate, reflect on the entirety of your life, what has happened and what is still yet to come. You spend a few moments thinking about the reading and leave. Well, I am slowly chipping away at, at my money. I better not spend one. I don't want no devil, devil value worth of meat. I'll, I'll wander my way down a little bit. Maybe the hat photography. Looks like they already got a chef's hat. I don't know if they need another one. Is this the guy doing the three card Monty? A grouchy looking guy is standing under the shade of his tiny building's eaves. Like the building is tiny and the eaves are proportional. They are the correct size for a house that is so tiny. He glares at you silently. Um, I guess I gotta come back with something. Oh, the boardwalk games. That's gonna be really fun. Game of skills. Test your everything. Step right up, step right up. Test your strength and your agility and your intellect. Every winner gets a prize. You there, sir. Care to face the challenge of a lifetime? Only ten meet. Well, what's the challenge? I like to start newcomers off with something relatively easy. All you have to do is guess my age, throw a dart to pop a balloon, and drive a nail into this board with one swing of a hammer. All at the same time? That's right. Care to try it? I need three of all stats, which I don't have. Because, let, let me let me see. Guessing the age is probably mysticality. Throwing the dart is moxie. And hitting the nail is, is muscle. It doesn't really matter. You need all three. But there is some logic behind it. Well, not with that attitude. You won't. Where, where am I at in terms of my... Oh, I'm just shy on the muscle. Just... Just shy. Is it going to be worth it for me to, like, eat some food that, like, raises muscle? I legitimately have two of them that do that, so eating one isn't even that big of a deal. I've slept, so I currently have zero food. I think it's worth it. You wonder briefly what role the role will play in your life, and then it is revealed to be that of a role that you just ate. The doughy boy. <laughs> You're doughy. But in a good way. I guess doughy usually means like flabby and unfit. Bravo. Bravissimo. <laughs> I'm all geared up here. All right. All set. Okay. You spend 10 meat. You aim the dart while winding up your arm for a hammer swing and squinting at the proprietor. Well, you look about 38, but pop, bang, you reek of cigarette smoke. So I'm going to say 34. Nicely done. Right on the money. Here's your prize. Some fancy new beach shoes. I already had a type of beach shoes. I don't think I need more. He takes a pair of clogs out from under the counter and hands them to you. The crab clogs. These shoes were made at the beach out of the materials that were closest at hand. Makes you walk like a crab. And they're made out of crabs? Honestly, the the like one hand, one foot thing is, is funny. But I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to swap it out for my latest silly walk. I actually think the crab walk, the crab walk is my favorite by a mile now. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm, I'm all in on that. Big, big fan of the crab walking. A privatized health, healthcare station? See what's for sale. Oh, it's literally just selling. This cookbook's focus is healthy cheese recipes, guaranteed to fortify your arteries with rich, protective cholesterol. I wonder if they sell specific things depending on the class that I had. See, nothing here is like uh, moxie or based or anything like that. Or it, it's all cheese based rather than whatever the other classes were. I've the pig. Th I've lost track. The medical manchego heals target for 10 and cures all negative status effects. That is well worth $100. Hopefully I have the stats needed. Uh, cotton candy, it's made of the cotton from expired bandages. Well, that's the worst kind. That's horrible. I hate that. It's a potion, and it's only 20 meat. I'll, I'll add it. A gauze pad, you have two already. Already seen that, the gauze turban. A good hat to wear if you're planning on sustaining a scalp injury. 
plus to maximum HP, maybe a tube of sunscreen. I do burn real easy, me personally. A high-tech blend of zinc oxide, liquid mercury, and arsenic. All the best things in one bottle. It's, that's truly tip-top. It costs so little. And there's a chance I'll encounter something where I need the heat protection, so I might as well go for it. I believe this... Oh, it, it raises my attack. Raising my health? My health is low. It's like painfully low. Worryingly low. I'm a- I need a hundred to raise it. That's like the only branch that raises it, I think, right? Yeah, I wonder if mind over Munster is what I need to be building towards. But I at the very least can read Cooking for Health. You flip through the healthy cheese recipes and consider other ways in which cheese might be used for healthy purposes. Cheese is a powerful weapon, sure, but did you know it also has non-deadly uses? Healing, 10 HP, and everything else. It's only 50 XP to make it even stronger, but not right now, just having any at all is, is what I really wanted and would benefit from. Can I interact with anyone who's- he, he looks like he's trying to get my attention. Do you want to like chat or hang out or anything? Or are you just having having a fun time? A bunch of people, even the angry guys are, are yelling. What the hell? I can right click and jump? Grab, grab a hold man, I'll save you. I'll let you down from there. I'm here to help. I don't know what purpose that has. If or ever that it will. It's a long pier, but you don't want to take an even longer walk off of it. I will fish with my rod. I th assumed I was going to grab the little buoy out there. You find an empty bag nearby that you can use to hold any fish you manage to reel in. Nice. You've caught a gussy fin noddle. You toss it in the fish sack. <laughs> this is a, a bag of all the terrible fish you've caught. It's pungent. You've fished a gussy thing. Its current value is three meat. Just sell it. <laughs> Well, if I, if I just keep fishing and just keep adding to it, you've caught a Splurgeon! <laughs> I like these, like, stupid fish names. I'm gonna do it a few times and see what other kind of fun new things come up. Hey! Oh, I, I thought I was just gonna find fish. You found a crusty ring. Looks like it got dropped in there ages ago. A ring rendered unidentifiable by a thick layer of ocean crud. Okay, yeah, but I'm hoping that there's like a way to polish that, clean it off, and there'd actually be something cool under it. The brown nosed pinched loaf. These remind me of like when you get an AI to come up with names for birds or whatever. I've seen that before, where it's like the pink throated blue booby f winged bird, and it's like, it's just insane. But these are almost funnier. A greeble. A grebe is a type of bird. So in a goofy way, we've come full circle and linked up these two concepts. A filibuster carp. That It's only adding one. I, I feel like majority of what I'm doing here is only adding one. And I'm guessing it was always going to be the ring on the third. Oh, maybe it is random. Because now I'm, I'm finding new things again. I thought the loop had ended or, you know, it's continually going to be that. It's cream cheese in its least convenient form. Just a handful of it would be used to raise mysticality. I'm gonna go until I stop finding new fishes, maybe? A mildewy sailor's hat. There's nothing more aggressive than a sailor who's angry that their hat is all gross. Well, that's actually better than what I have now. Cause this, two to magical weapon attacks, and I'm starting to debate, it is a magical weapon. That one is a magical weapon. Melee weapon attacks. Or are any of these listed as melee? It is. So, melee is specifically the muscle-based things. Anything that's more food-related is mysticality. It's okay. So, I stay. I stay with what I got because my tongs are definitely magic-based. The thick back chowed, cha chowed. It kind of looks like chowed though, doesn't it? Haunted clam. This clam has seen deeper and darker things than you ter your terrestrial perspective allows you to imagine. Even though I'm haunted, it looks like you've caught everything that was here. Well, that's actually genuinely very helpful for it to just tell me, like, hey, don't worry about it, you can stop. But if I do go back, practice your casting technique. Maybe I'll still get a stupid- oh, no, I think I grabbed the bell now. Nice shot. Oh, I- it, it literally is just- I don't think there's a perk or anything. 
It's just a funny little additional interaction. All right, well, I'm glad that I've definitively cleared that out. That's very helpful. Are you you interested in these clams or anything that I've, I've gathered up? Tony Fiasco, hat photographer. As you enter, the photographer, who is busily adjusting a complicated-looking camera on a tripod, gestures to a nearby waste basket, basket without looking around. If it's more bills, there's my inbox. Um, hello? Hmm? Oh, you ain't the jumpin' Josephat? Baby, where have you been all my life? Excuse me? That face, that's exactly the face I've been looking for. It's perfect. Thanks, I've grown rather attached to it myself. A part of me wants to switch out the goofy little simple smile, but it's kind of just nice. <laughs> it's mine and you can't have it. No, I'm attached to it. Hey, hey, you're funny too, baby. I love you. You're incredible. Listen, do you know who I am? I'm going to go ahead and guess Tony Fiasco, hat photographer. That's right, baby. That's exactly right. And soon, I'm going to be the biggest hat photographer in the city. No, the country. No, the world. But there's something I need first. A face? A portfolio. And you know what I need before I got a portfolio? Uh, a face. Your face, baby. Well, I, uh, don't say no. Don't you dare say no, baby. Listen, it's easy. All you gotta do is stroll in here wearing a hat, and all I gotta do is take a photograph of that hat, and then we're both gonna be rich. Rich? Rich. Me with my portfolio, and you with the 30 meat I'm gonna pay you for every picture. Huh. Well, gotta be different hats, though. Gotta be a different hat every time. I can't pay you nothing for the same hat twice, got it? All right, but how about this hat? What is that, a chef's hat? Perfect, I love it. Here's your meat, baby. Spend it in good health and come back soon. So I, I guess I just very quickly flip through these. Uh, I will come back with no hat. He might be offended, but I want to see. Welcome back, let me see. Mm, nope, listen, I love you, baby, but the absence of a hat does not count as a particular special kind of hat. I'm gonna need you to come back with a hat on, okay? I really thought with just the weird meta way that this game is that that would count. You'd be like, oh my god, incredible. Who'd have thought of no hat at all? What a, what a wild concept. And, you know, you'd be all excited about it. A gas mask. Perfect. I love it. I, I think he will have no additional interactions. And it's instead just a, a matter of quickly getting the money. I, don't, I, don't, I wonder how many he will take before he decides that that is enough for his portfolio to be uh, complete. Or if there's one that I'm gonna show up in that will like offend him or something and he'll be like, just, no, oh, that's oh, terrible. I c couldn't possibly. Uh, Uncursed Fedora, okay. <laughs> that was pretty straightforward. Fully have taken care of that as well now. What if I go back to the fortune teller? Same, same thing. I do not intend to do that a second time. Let's go and blow, let's blow this joint and find something. All right. You're, you're probably right. I feel as though we did actually kind of wrap up the boardwalk. More so than I expected. I do want to stick my head back in old places really quickly. Just, like, really quickly confirm I didn't miss any interaction that needs a specific... A uh, stat that I wouldn't have had at the time or anything that's changed through other interactions Just quick check-ins and the wanders along the way will help with some variety you encounter a hope There's so many hobos I guess at this era Maybe that just would have been the case who's sauntering down the sidewalk with a bindle over his shoulder whistling a jaunty tune Everything's jaunty today. Well, hey there fella. Aren't you Grammy? I'm Morris Garfield. Oh, hi How'd you know my name? Oh, we hobos are a tight-knit little community. When somebody's been helping us out, word gets around. I, uh, I have been trying to help out quite a bit. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> well, that's nice. A little creepy, but nice on balance. Why don't you come visit our camp? We'd be glad to have you. I've potentially helped a couple of them at this point, so maybe they're all going to one location. Well, you just head down 12th Street till you see a lot of where the old hardware store used to be, and then you take a... You know what? This will be simpler if I just mark it on your map for you. Yes, please. He takes out a pencil stub and marks a cluster of little boxes on your map. Come on by any old time. The Ocean City Hobo Camp. Bid him adieu.
<laughs> very, very glad to have assisted. A bored-looking hobo lounges around the wall of, of a decrepit building. Did I never do anything with this guy before? Maybe, maybe I did. He just kind of, he just mumbled through everything. Is that familiar to me? I'm looking for Hiram's grocery. Is this it? Have you been standing here? Well, what are you doing? What are you looking for? I, I, I don't, okay, maybe, maybe I did at some point start attuning to what he was saying. What are you doing here? Waiting for what? What are you, you're looking for work? Considering the store is pretty thoroughly closed, I don't think you're going to find any here. It doesn't look to me like another store is going to open here anytime soon. Hmm. I will give him some meat. Thank you, you kind mumble. <laughs> Take a cab to a different store or something. He tips his hat and whistles for a passing cab. There we go. Came back. Managed to look after one additional hobo. Leave this run-of-the-mill, runty, run-down store where you run afoul of runicates, giving you the run-around and also run-on sentences. Well, that was in incredible. But no, I think I will poke around just a little bit more. <laughs> uh, chit-chat, anything new going on? Seems pretty down on their luck around here. Yep, everyone's out of Rhino. Even the flim-flammers and fake loo artists had to split town to find a new butter and egg men. Uh, sure. Of course. <laughs> the, I'm kind of falling in love with this character. They're harder to understand than Gabby even was, but just walking around with this insane Tommy gun with that goofy grin on her face, it's a, 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 a likable character. Oh. These are starting to pop up. So when I went back and fought that one and reached in and pulled out the shadow hot dog or whatever the hell, I thought I had missed that. Now I'm feeling increasingly confident that it only arrived after the fact. At some some point I did something that made these start a arriving. Probably when I fought in the, the fridge factory and there's the Crimbo uh, lady there. Reach inside. You grab the first thing your fingers brush against and yank it out. The shadow wine. This oily black nothingness is wine because anything that you put in a wine glass is technically wine. Increase hot, cold stench, and Slee's armor by three. Incredibly powerful. The shadowy pocket vanishes with an otherworldly pop. I think... Uh, oh, oh. No, the, the shelf that never had anything on it. I guess I check one more time. There's nothing. There's truly nothing. All right, but there was, in some small way, a reason to return. Right, that's just my medical man, Chango. I... Don't think there's any reason there would be anything at Marvin's. You were unexpectedly surrounded by three Glocklins, menacingly playing their Glockenspiels at you, which is a real trick if you think about it. Hey, what gives? This is a muggery. We insist on it that you, to us, all of your meat give. What? All of it? That's crazy. I guess that is a little extreme. Say V instead, uh, six meat? <laughs> I think I'll just fight you instead. How about that? I don't think you'll be singing the same tune after I've had at thee. So let me let me just double check what all is everything. I think if I just chain together those two. Nerdle! Facing the wrong way. Oh, he literally just flipped around. <laughs> Shh, uh, random enemy for one damage nine times. Oh, I'm glad I focused on the stronger one. I assumed they were going to have the same amount of health, actually. Molly Buttons will kneecap George the Chimer for five physical and reduce muscle by five. That's aggressive, Molly, but I think it's kind of hilarious in a weird, twisted way that Molly Buttons, oh, cute little Molly Buttons, would kneecap this poor little goblin. Is that even any more insane than shooting him to death? I don't know. You won. The goblins scamper away. One of them drops a piece of paper that appears to be a map of their hideout. The Glockenspielery flyer. flyer. Glockenspielery. That's not, doesn't, doesn't roll off the tongue well. It's an advertising flyer for a Glockenspiel store. Experience meat and Nerdle grows stronger. This dude camping out on top there. I think he's all done. Knock on the stranger's door. Who's there? By Grammy. Grammy who? Grammy of the Valley. My actual name. Hmm. Can I just actually Tommy Thomas organizer? Organization? 
maybe there's like a joke here. Auto, auto taking business, auto, hmm. Or a, a joke that can be made. It's offering up different things every time. If I say Grammy and then nothing, maybe, maybe there's a clue or uh, it's Sadie, it's Sadie. Aid, result, project, Sadie Aid. I, I, I think it's random. I don't think there's anything I can actually do there. Same same thing. Perhaps. Perhaps there, there's a hint that I'm currently lacking. Helen Bin. Well, I guess I'm leaving here. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night will keep you from leaving here if you want to. And yes, I do. I do want that. I, I'm doing all these revisitings because I'm almost confident there's stuff that I've missed. And I'm like losing sight of where I should actually go. <laughs> On my way to the Tentacle House, I've run into more Glocklins. Well, here's an unusual sight. Four of them are playing their Glockenspiels while doing some kind of traditional folk dance. It involves a lot of skipping and hopping and turning around in a square with precise timing. So they aren't paying any attention to you or to anything really. I will join in. No need to fight. It does look kind of fun, but you definitely don't know the steps and would only cause total chaos. It would be simpler just to attack them since a brawl would probably result anyway. Well then fine, I guess I will attack. Don't worry, Don T has your back. Good, thank you, I'm glad you're here, man, but like I'm, I'm genuinely quite surprised. I have no idea what <laughs> brought you into this battle. Quite a bit of health in, in these first two, especially here. I could one-shot that guy, so I should kind of focus on that a little bit. My two... five damage. Five damage from this. Oh, he'll be so close. He'll be so close to dead. But I'll... Uh, that's what I'll do. Honestly, I kind of forget what some of these things do now already. Uh... Decreases stats, deals hot damage. This is like by far my strongest thing. I need the like hoot nanny or whatever it was called in West of Loathing, where I attack like everything, and it you just kind of fling soar through battles at that point. And I knew that I could one shot that guy, so I kind of put that one off. I assume you would shoot that guy nine times. Like, once, and then the other eight would be wasted? I guess that's worth learning. No, you do automatically start attacking other people. Okay, that's incredibly strong, then. That's actually a really, really, really good skill. You won! I'm not sure what you have against traditional folk dances, but you sure put a stop to that one. The Glocken Mallet Ball. <laughs> this used to be part of a Glockenspiel mallet. You can't make music with it anymore, but you could still probably put somebody's eye out. Deals three damage and reduces moxie. The Glocken brought. This is a small loaf of dark bread made of Glockenspiel obsessed, made by, not of, Glockenspiel obsessed goblins. Let's hope their single mindedness doesn't make them really terrible at baking. Increases HP, it is food. Whee! See, now I'm a little bit worried that the Tentacle House has become too much to fit into an episode here. It's like kind of narrow margin. Let's go visit the No House and see if one of those shadow things has appeared. As the two of you are walking down the street, Molly suddenly stops and gestures at a nearby gun shop. Oh, hey, I know this bulldogger. Hang on a second. You want to go shopping? Nah, I just want to get me to get my typewriter a quick tune up. The sight on it's kind of hinky. On your typewriter? Your gun is your typewriter? Your sight you're talking about? Cut yourself a piece of cake. I'll be right back. You don't see any cake around here. Disappointingly, but Molly returns presently with a freshly polished Tommy gun and a cheerful grin. Her moxie increases by one. Now we're hitting on all sixes. Come on, Buck. Let's get a wiggle on. And here I thought Gabby was hard to understand. <laughs> That's what I've been saying, man. It's nonsense. I do, I, do you know what, do you have anything to say about this area? Just talking about Ocean City broadly, get the hell out of here. To this random location where nothing has ever been. You know, just to be clear. No 
It's always been as empty as it is. You notice a pile of yellowish white grit in the middle of the road. You catch a whiff of it and identify it as muscle corn. Must have fallen off a truck and then been run over a series of diff by a series of different trucks. It's powerful stuff. You shouldn't let it go to waste. Ooh, my crypto botanist. So I should get um experience for it as well. Yes, because of my perk. And someone in the comments pointed out what they believe the crypto botanist joke to be. Cryptozoology is like the science of studying things like Bigfoot and El Chupacabra and these like mythical creatures and things. So crypto botany is like discovering and studying these unknown mythical plants. You carefully separate the corn from the asphalt. It's like separating wheat from chaff, but with a more modern spin on it. It's just like that. Powerful grit. Even though it's just an inert powder, you're pretty sure it's gonna bully you. So mean. Why would it need to do that? 42 experience. I, I'm not quite at a place to, to do anything with that. There's so many different rooms and things that I'll be able to like stick my head in. And so many of them will be like fully cleared out. So I, I don't intend to interact with absolutely everything. In fact, I'll probably just edit ahead to when I'm, I'm done rechecking things. You know what? I think I will buy one of each tea because they're cheap. And now and again, you just need the additional stats bonus. And it's just nice and handy to have things on hand without needing to worry like, oh, I only have one. It's going to run out and then I won't be able to. I won't. It's, it just makes things easier. No fishing, I'll take my chances anyways. I maybe have already done that once before. It did nothing? So I'm, I'm guessing I already did it once before and... Oh, well, what do you know? How did that even get on the hook? Well, I'll, I'll continue fishing then. Eventually I might, like, reel in a, a battle or something. It oh, looks like you've caught everything that was here. All right, well, I, I, sweet. I just went and spent 45 and then made 22. That, that works out. Yeah, okay, this is the sort of thing I'm looking for. Reach inside. The Shadow Clarinet. Actually, it might be an oboe. It's hard to tell with the endless void pouring into our world through its empty silhouette. Reduce all of enemies stats by 13. All of an enemies, not all of the enemies, a singular enemy reduced by 13. That is insane. It's a combat item, so I, it's like a one-time use. But if I'm ever squaring off against a boss or anything, that would go a very long ways. There's these different uh, workbenches, and there's the al alchemical bench. And so I, I crafted things just in the other episode there, but here I can craft potions. Basic potions, weightlifting chalk, the powerful grit. Oh, that's the thing I literally just discovered. No, I use the powerful grit to make it, I think is what would happen there. And the anabolic agonist, ag agonist? <laughs> Muscle and melee, so this has two things, so I, I guess I will take that. If you drink this, it'll make all of your hormones and enzymes <laughs> angry. You're all out of potion ingredients. Okay, that was all I could do coming back there. I think I've done everything that I, I could along there. Molly notices some tin cans scattered in an alley and stops to stack them into a pyramid. Let's do some bean shooter practice. Every little bit helps. And anyway, my finger's getting itchy. Seems like maybe we shouldn't be shooting guns in the middle of the city. Ah, baloney. It's a copacetic. The fuzz here ain't worth a plugged nickel. And who else is gonna raise a beef when we, we're clearly healed? You're right, you've you've put my mind at ease with this clear and salient explanation. I'll take your word for it, as soon as I figure out what it was. <laughs> the two of you take turns shooting at cans until you run out of cans. And I, I, I'm gonna make a final stop at the newspaper place. I think that I will have... Oh, maybe I should visit like the speakeasy. I haven't gone back there in, in ages. I don't think I'll have anything new that I do want to check. Downstairs, though, in the basement. Calendar from 11 years ago. Uh, talking about a, a specific date that's been scrawled in. Is that new? No, that's the, the specific one. It's like one of the first ones. All right. Enough of all of that. Fun times at the boardwalk. 
Don't forget to get in your episode name suggestions. I'm going to try and do it so I pick a name one week later. So, you know, this is episode 11. When I upload this, I'll go pick a name for episode 4. And we'll kind of roll things forward like that. That's my current thinking. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.